All right, guys. What else I did here was I got the master cylinder, um, and I dumped some fresh fluid in there because it was empty, and I'm just letting it sit and trickle down. I had some dripping a few minutes ago um, into my catch can. Did it on both sides so I could try to get the lines kind of clean. Um, what I'm going to do next before I put the disc on and the new line is I'm going to take the master cylinder off. Master cylinder. I'm going to take this guy off. I'm going to disconnect the lines and I'm going to pull the master cylinder off. Okay, so that way I can go through and try to bleed the brakes. When I start doing that, what I might end up doing is doing some stuff up here, trying to clean up this engine bay. Because this engine bay looks great, doesn't it? Um, so, might lead me into doing my next thing. Um, so, that's going to be my next option, I think, is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to pull that off, blow them lines out. And then I'm probably going to put the, the line, the new flex line and the caliper and brake pads on um and before i put the new master on i'm probably gonna clean up the brake brake booster that thing brake booster clean that up and try to clean up some of this up under here maybe i don't know i might do the rear brakes get them done um i think this thing still had coolant in it let me see here and yeah, now yeah, it looks pretty dry uh no it does got some in there i can see it down down in there it's low can't touch it, but that's something else I'm going to have to do is change coolant. I might try to run this radiator, see if it works. And I'm going to see what else I can do up in here to maybe try to clean this up a little bit. I might get some of that GM black like I used on the wheel wells. And maybe clean this up and paint this. I might look online to see if I can get a new sticker for this maybe. And if I can, then I'll take the old sticker off, both stickers, and I'll clean it. I'll take a bunch of pictures with, you know, measurement from there to there so I can try to put the sticker back exactly where it was. Try to clean it, paint it. Might take this radiator shroud off and wash it. And just try to cl clean it up. I mean, so that way I can try to make everything work. Um, and I might wire brush the bottom of this like I did on the charger wire brush that and hit it with some of that GM black and just try to make it appear better I mean this, this doesn't look good and I mean I'm not going to make this car into a completely restored car right now my whole thing is is to make it into a good reliable driver if I want to be able to drive it as you guys can see how much I've already cleaned with dust and dirt so I gotta clean that up but I'm getting there. Um, I still have to put this, this side back on. But you don't need to see both sides. The other thing to do too is like I painted this section. I'm also painted the, um, the calipers. If you don't paint them, they will... Sorry about showing you guys my chainsaw there. Just trying to get this open so I can show you. I did paint the caliper with the... Um, engine enamel i use the uh this is what i use duplicolor engine with ceramic which stands up to 500 it should work good i would think my caliper hopefully won't get over 500 degrees i just use the cast iron on it so but that's that's what i'm doing here and i'm going to start pulling this off um to pull the master cylinder off isn't that hard you got this this nut and this nut you want to take off first for the lines if you're going to try to keep them and not get rid of them or put new lines on my lines seem like they're in good shape so i'm going to try to to reuse my brake lines to save myself some money right now because they're not rusted through because the new lines you get will be uh won't be as good so i'm going to try to pull them off and then i'm going to pull this master off so that way i can take some air and I can blow through the lines. Just remember that your rear brakes, I think is the front. Um, I'll have to figure it out. I forget which line's which, but it's not a big deal. So, um, again, this is an AC car.
but I don't know if the AC compressor probably doesn't work. I might take it off, see if I can find something that will work with the current Freon I can get, just to have the AC in there to see if I can make it work. I don't know. That's way down the line, though. I mean, it's going in the winter now, and it gets like 30 degrees here, so having AC is not, <laughs> not an important thing right now. But that's way down the line to see what I can do. But all right, guys. Well, this is going to be, um, I think that's about it for now. I'm going to uh, start tearing this thing apart some and try to see if I can work before the storm comes in so I don't have to go in and out in the rain. Well, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and when I get done taking stuff apart, I'll make a video showing that. Oh, yeah, the other thing I did, too, I'll show you guys this real quick is uh, my turn signal indicator. I was going to put that back together, but it had some rust on it, so I cleaned it, and I used some chrome spray paint on it just to make it look better. I mean, I am I know I could buy new ones for probably 20 bucks for the stem, but I'm just trying to do what I can do to, to use what I have for now. So I don't have a ton of money to go out and go buy all brand new parts for this thing. So if I can save something, I will. If I can fix something, I will. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be getting more done with the brakes, and we'll be good. All right, guys. I got the rotors on there. Got them mounted up. I'm getting ready to, to lay out the stuff for doing the brakes and putting the pads on. I pulled the master cylinder off. So what you got is you got the two lines, then you got two nuts, and this bracket goes on top. So I pulled that off so then I can get that out. And what I want to do is I want to try to blow the lines out. Um, but before I do that, I'm just laying out my stuff. So I got my caliper. I got my line. And now when you look at the brake pads, you can see there's one pad of each type on there. So I open the new pads up. And of course, it's got a lot of AC Delco parts assembled in Mexico. So, where's all the other parts made from if it's been assembled in Mexico? California warning. So, it's, it's, you gotta love that assembled in Mexico. So, are the individual parts made in China and then it's assembled in Mexico or what? But anyway, as you can see with the pads, you got one that, one type and one type. So, you're gonna put one of each pad on each side. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open these. And I'm going to set one pad there, and I'm going to set the same on the other side. So that way I have all my parts laid out. So I can hopefully just sit down and start putting stuff together, maybe. So, let's see if I can um, try to maybe get the flex lines on tonight. And the, um, the other stuff. So, is when you take these out this looks the same as that and the other two look the same so I'm just going to take one of one one of one and place them so I mean they're assembled in Mexico hopefully they're good quality I don't know I'll find out so it's all AC Delco parts but made in China assembled in Mexico I mean here's a master cylinder oh, it doesn't even say where that uh Brake master cylinder, new item, made in China. China. So anyway, um, so I'm gonna lay out this stuff and I'm gonna try to start figuring out what I'm gonna do. Before I bring you guys back, I'm probably just gonna take my air compressor and just put some light for air pressure in the lines just to try to blow them out. And then, um, then I'll probably put the new flex lines on there and all that. Just make sure when you guys, if you do blow out your lines like this, that you make sure you have your lines in something, old line, so you don't get it all over your fresh paint. If you guys painted the uh, wheel wells like this, because it will eat it up. So, um, I'm going to see what I'm going to do tonight. I might work on that, I might not. Alright guys, I'm going to see how this works with this camera view here. So you guys can kind of see what, what we got to do here. Um, with putting this brake back on. So, what we got is we got our area here where the master, or master, yeah, the master cylinder goes there. No, where the um, caliper goes. Okay. So, I'm going to try to 
see if I can show you guys how all this kind of goes. Um, and I'm not exactly sure myself because this thing's not put together, I think, with all the parts either. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this works. Okay. I got this clip. I don't know where this clip goes either. See when I bought. Uh, see when I bought this thing it came with this nice new little clip and I don't know where that clip goes so we're gonna I don't know we're gonna see if we can figure it out here let me screw up my whole camera view here what I'm gonna do is show you guys first what you gotta do with the uh, caliper okay cause you gotta take your one shoe and your one shoe's gotta go Gotta go there, like that. See, that way it lines through it. And your other shoe, let me set that there. Your one shoe goes that way, and your other shoe is gonna drop down in there like that, which, when it sits in there, it's gonna sit like that, and it's gonna get caught on that pin. So when that pin goes through, like that it should hold it all let's see how that's holding it so that's what you're going to try to do when you set it up on there um i'm trying to think about how i can really get a good view of this for you guys let's try maybe i can get my my camera positioned somewhere up here maybe so sorry about this guys i'm a single camera man single camera person trying to do it all by myself so we're gonna see what, what I can do here. I may be trying to get this thing kinda. Oh, my tripod's coming loose, that's why. Go cheap tripod, yay. All right, so let's see here. Maybe I can do something like this, sorry guys. I had something set up before, but I just didn't think it was gonna work well. So you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this caliper up and I'm gonna show you guys once it's set up here maybe. Um, maybe I can get something just kind of hooked for now to watch from back here. Does that work? Let's see. Let me get up here and look at my camera view. Yeah, that'll kind of work. I'm gonna try to keep out of the, the way and I'll show you guys what's going on. So that way you guys can kind of understand this here. Because this has to go like that with the bleeder up. And then it kind of just drops down on that. Um, like that. And it kind of just sits in there like so. Okay. Then these long bolts go in from the back side. They go in through your, your pins. So you're going to have to push like... I'll see if I can bring this up here to show you guys. All right, so to get this aligned, you can see what I was talking about with that pin. So you're gonna have to push the caliper up, not push the caliper up, but push the shoe up. And then you push that pin through, and you can see here it goes through that spacer, and it starts threading into this this piece here, like that. And it goes through this one to hold that. And then before you tighten everything up, make sure you put your, your bottom one in the same way. And make sure you're, like right now, my bottom shoe is not caught. Even though it's sitting in there, it's not caught on there. So I'm going to have to pull that back out because so you can see it in there. Oops, I see it there. Uh, there, that hole. You can see my bottom part of my shoe is not caught, so I'm going to have to pull that back and lift my shoe up and get my shoe positioned correctly. So, and try to get it positioned up there. So that way I can get it caught. Um, I need something like a screwdriver. 
Maybe my Allen's small enough. Yeah. So you can see how that has to go. And you can watch through the little window right there on where it has to go. So that way you can see, because if, if you don't, your inside shoe's not going to be positioned correctly. And if that happens, it's gonna wear uneven. It's not gonna, your brakes aren't gonna work right. Everything's gonna be screwed up. Maybe that's what this little clip's for is holding it. I have no idea where this little clip goes. But maybe somebody does and they could chime in. Um, but I have no idea. This thing didn't have it in it before. So I don't really know. I'm just trying to see if I can use something to... What I really need is a little hook. As you can see, I'm just trying to lift it up and get it. <laughs> Actually, a magnet would work great. I don't know where my magnet is off the top of my head. So one of my other banjo. Uh, banjo for that. For the goes where that line goes in somewhere over back there is where the line goes in so i'll set that up there just so i don't lose it all right let me get up here and get a little screwdriver here actually my brake spoon might work well it's small and flat brake spoon for doing the rear drum brakes so let's try that that might work very well since you're going to need that anyway for when you do the rear brakes, it's good to have them out because you're going to need it. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Let me see. If I had two hands, I might be able to do this quicker. Let me see if I can get this positioned somewhere up here. So that way you guys can kind of watch me do it with two hands. Woo! Sorry about all the camera work, guys. It's not. I'm not very good at this stuff yet. There we go. So now you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. And we'll see if we can do it with two hands. Now. So all I'm trying to do is just use the brake spoon to push it up there. See if I can get, get in there and just use that to push the uh, shoe up there somewhere. So that way I can do this here and get it be good. I can use the pin and try to keep pressure on it maybe. Maybe I can go from this side. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Now you can see here how that's popped up. You can see how it's in there. And then you can tighten up your, your two bolts to hold your, uh, your stuff on. So, tighten it up. And when you tighten it up, it's also going to tighten and push that bushing in. So you got to make sure that you put your bushing back in there, that bushing, if you took it out when you painted. I took mine out because I don't want paint all over my bushing. So just make sure to put them back in. Not a big deal. So, but um yeah so it's not that bad once you get it kind of aligned i think if if i could figure out how that clip goes i think that clip might hold hold it in there somehow i think it maybe it clips on the the pad let's see here maybe that's what it's supposed to do it's about the width of a pad so i bet that's what you do is you're supposed to clip clip that onto your pad and then you can clip it to hold it in your in your uh yeah that's what i bet it does so let's see here i could i could try to take that back apart and see if that will actually work that way well we'll take that back apart not a big deal I bet that's how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to probably use that to hold the uh, hold the sh the pad in place, so you can put it in there. I bet that's what it does. So let's take that apart real quick, and we'll we'll check and see if my guess is right. Cause I, I honestly don't know on that, but I bet that's what it does. 
so we'll let me try to lean that up a little bit more. Oops. There we go. Well, I'll show you guys. So you got to hold it if you're taking it apart like this, so you don't lose your parts. I bet that's what that clip is supposed to do is go on the back of this and clip there actually it might be better to clip it on this and then go like that I bet if you clip it clip that little clip in there like that you gotta put it like that it holds it see so if you have that little clip that's what you can do with it it holds the uh the pad in there like so so we figured that out at least it's supposed to it looks like it just likes to flop around a little bit but that's what that little clip does and that makes it make it a lot easier to put all this back together like so So, that little clip made life easy. You can see the pads caught on that one, caught there, caught, caught there, caught there, and caught there. All right, so that's how you do it. So that's what that little clip's for. If you have it, if not, you gotta just make sure to get them caught on there. So, and it just kinda sits in there, sits inside the uh, piston, so.